So it is, of course, the Labour Party conference in Britain's Marxist capital of Liverpool, an event that's been remembered for only three things so far, and none of them positive. Number one, Chancellor Rachel Reeves' speech. She stood there moving and talking like a robot. It was just the weirdest thing, and I've seen some weird things in my time. Surely this woman is an android of some sort. Rachel Reeves is, of course, one of the seven so far or so far known Labour MPs who took money from Lord Ali. This is the woman who claims that by being the first female Chancellor, she's uh, smashed some glass ceiling. Well, that glass ceiling was smashed years ago by other women, most notably Margaret Thatcher. And she did that four months after Rachel Reeves was born in 1979. Now, if you're reading something like a robot, it means that you didn't write it. None of these MPs, none of these people giving speeches uh, wrote their own speech. Because when you write your own stuff, you don't sound autonomous. Because you've written it, you've thought about it, which means it flows freely and it sounds natural. And these lot, nah, didn't sound natural at all, which means they don't believe in their speeches. And they're not conviction politicians, none of them. These people are your classic bought and paid for politicians, all of them. And they were, of course, bought and paid for by Lord Ali. But for what reason, we still don't know. This guy doesn't give money for nothing. When he was a uh, banker, he charged clients a thousand pounds a time. So yeah, he doesn't give things away for free. He is money orientated. That's why he's so wealthy. And the second thing this party conference was remembered for is the heckler. Now you'd think, wouldn't you, being a proud working class socialist uh, city, Liverpool, surely a Liverpoolian would stand up and bring the uh, government to account and ask them, why the hell have you taken away the pensioners, British pensioners, uh, their winter fuel allowance, therefore potentially allowing tens of thousands of them to freeze to death this winter? Nah, he didn't heckle her for that. He heckled her for still selling arms to Israel. I mean, who cares? And then, of course, it was Keir Starmer's speech. And uh, <laughs> as you can imagine, it was boring, it was dull, it was autonomous. This guy uh, don't believe a word of what was written for him. He didn't write this speech because if he did, then he wouldn't have mistaken the word hostages for sausages. That's right. In a part of his speech, he called for a ceasefire in Gaza and the release of all the sausages. It just goes to prove, folks, these people don't write their speeches. It's common knowledge they have their own speechwriters, but wouldn't it be nice for once to have a politician, to have conviction, write their own speeches and believe in what they say? But they don't. They're all bought and paid for, ladies and gents. They want you to hear the right things coming out of their mouths, but they don't believe a, a, a jack of it. Who knows, maybe it was uh, written for them by someone associated with Lord Ali, and that's why he gave them all this money. And then Keir Starmer said he is giving Britain back to its people. I mean, when? So far, all he's done is uh, promise billions of our people's tax money abroad to fund various woke vanity projects. There's been nothing substantial for the British people whatsoever, and I doubt he will either, during his time as Prime Minister. So yeah, there's the Labour Party for you under Keir Starmer, not working for the British people, but working for Lord Ali and God knows who else. And there we go. I'm Paz49. Thanks for watching. And until the next time, Roger Trout.